Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the latest version of the Synapse Z Executor without getting any errors. The reason I thought I had to make this video is because I have had a lot of people complain to me that they have been getting errors when they try to inject the executor or when they try to execute a script. So I'll go ahead and show you how you can set everything up perfectly so you don't face any of the errors. Now, before I jump into the setup tutorial, if you guys don't already have the Synapse Z Executor, then you can buy it from the first link in the description. When you do click the link, it will take you over to my website. And from there, you can go ahead and choose the Synapse Z Executor. We do have the seven day and the 30 day keys in stock. We do also offer a variety of different payment methods on our website. If you are interested in paying with card, Apple Pay or Google Pay, then you can join our Discord server and create a ticket by clicking over here. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Once you have purchased your key, if you don't have the Synapse Z Executor downloaded, then you can download it from this link over here. I will also leave it down in the description below. So all you want to do is come over to this website and click on the download button just like that and choose wherever you wish to download the Synapse Z Executor. So let's go ahead and let that open and we're going to go ahead and choose desktop and click on save. And if it gives you this little error over here, simply go ahead and hold down Control and press J on your keyboard and that will open up the downloads folder just like that. And over here, you'll be able to approve the download manually just like that. And once you've done that, go over to your desktop and right click the folder and click on the extract option and that will extract the folder for you. And then at that point, go into the folder and then go ahead and open up the Synapse Z Executor just like that. If it gives you this little pop up, go ahead and click on more info and click on run anyway and then click on yes. And that will launch the executor and start downloading the files just like that. Now, if you do get an error that says fail to download DLL, then all you have to do is download a VPN, any sort of VPN. Proton VPN is completely free, so you can go ahead and download that. And once you do activate the VPN, you should be able to download the files. If you do get the error, then that is pretty much how you fix that. Now, if you don't see the screen and you see a screen that asks you for a license key, then of course, go ahead and paste the license key that you purchased from the website. And once you do paste it, you should be able to see a similar page to this. Now go ahead and close out of this. Now up next, you need to download Blockstrap. So if you don't already have Blockstrap on your computer, then you can find it from the link in the description. Go ahead and click on this option over here and that will go ahead and take you to the download page and then click on this right here and that will allow you to download it. I do already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. Once you do download it, go ahead and search for Blockstrap menu. Go ahead and open that up. Go down into the bootstrapper. Go ahead and enable the false Roblox reinstallation and click on save and go ahead and close out of that. Then go ahead and search for Blockstrap again and go ahead and open the Blockstrap application this time and then click on launch Roblox and let that download everything that it wants to download. And there we go. Once the download does complete, it will open up the application just like that. If it does ask you to log in, simply go ahead and log into your account at that point. And now go ahead and search for any game of your choice. So you can go into any game. I'm going to load up the create a cart ride and click on the play button and once it does start loading you into the game go back into your synapse z executor folder and launch the application again click on yes and once it does complete everything it will start injecting into the game automatically and when you go back into your game close out of everything go ahead and click on the delete key on your keyboard and it will bring up the executor menu just like that and of course you can paste any script of your choice in here just like this go back into the executor paste it click execute and as you can see it's working just like that and of course you can do this with any roblox game and any script of your choice and that is pretty much how you set up the synapse z executor without any crashes hopefully this video has helped you if it did then make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching